Hello everybody! So I don't really know why I'm filming today because I've got a lot of boring toile work to do which I'm not going to film because it's just working in calico which is incredibly boring. This is a calico toile. I've had a lot of fittings this week um, and I've <clears throat> still got a lot of fittings to come today and tomorrow. Um, I was violently ill last week with a viral infection, which is why I might still sound a little bit nasal, which was the most frustrating thing because I have all of these amazing YouTube content ideas that I want to film, but... I couldn't film them because I sounded so sick. Um, obviously I couldn't come into the studio when I was ill, I couldn't see clients um, and I couldn't open the doors because I was, I sounded horrible. Um, so I was just at home but I couldn't film YouTube videos either so I really had to rest but I think it's a good thing because after the collection launch um, and shooting all of the campaign images I was pretty wrecked. <laughs> um, I did a lot in the last two months and didn't really have any downtime. So I think that was like my body's way of telling me to just chill out. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I thought I'd just film today. I curled my hair, which is always a good reason to film. Um, what do you guys think of my short hair? I cut it all off. It wasn't that much longer. Um, and I think when I get it cut again, I'm going to cut it even shorter. Um, and I also got my ears pierced, which is my second hole, which is the funniest thing. Like, it's the kind of thing you do when you're like 14, 15, 16. You're like, yeah, I'm going to get my second ear hole pierced. No, no, did it as like a grown adult in her 20s. Um, but yeah, I'm like super excited for when I can change those over into sleepers and wear like big hoop rings and I don't know, something like it's the little things. Yeah, I wanted to ask you guys about that. Why is it that when you do something as like silly and insignificant as cutting your hair or coloring your hair or piercing your ears or like getting like a tiny tattoo that makes you feel like a whole nother person, like cutting my hair off and getting my second holes pierced. I just had this new lease on life. I felt like, yeah, I could tackle anything and I could, I don't know, it just gave me this whole new vibe to winter. I don't know, it's weird. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like guys always complain about us getting our hair done, but there's like, honestly, you get like a, you get endorphins, you get excited, you get happy when you get to change your appearance and identify with, uh, I don't know, a different side to you. Something else I've really been enjoying um, <clears throat> over this last month has been settling back into thrifting. Um, I used to work in retail a little while ago uh, at an Australian store called Kukai. I used to manage there actually um, in Western Australia in the city that I live in. I used to work at a bunch of different stores um, and at Kukai you have to wear current season stock. Like you, if it's not on the floor you can't wear it anymore so I was constantly consuming I love their clothing like I love the clothing at Kukai I've always loved it hence why I worked there um, but prior to working at Kukai I thrifted everything um, not everything that's a lie I thrifted a lot of stuff I thrifted everything that I could and this last month has seen me getting back into thrifting I found this amazing jacket um, from the thrift store on my last visit it's a Wrangler denim, like a camel denim jacket. I actually think it's a man's jacket, but that's a whole other story. Yeah, so I think in the next month I'm going to have enough stuff to be able to do another thrift haul. And you guys absolutely love it when I post thrift hauls. Like, they're my videos that get the most views. You know what? I also thought I'd show you something else that I bought um, for the studio. Um, these, oh, <laughs> it's fallen over. I don't know if it's going to do it now, but I bought these, um, little gold stands. It's probably not going to stay up now because I've just moved it. That's the one annoying thing about the stands is they can't hold the image properly, which sounds really weird. There we go. 
but yeah, I bought these little stands um, from a amazing shop here. Um, I got a square, a triangle, and a circle. But see what I mean? Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I might have to um, put a backing on them or something. I've got a few other things. And I don't want to show too much, but I'm going to include that in my... And there's other copper stuff that I bought um, that I'm going to include. I am absolutely loving this top right now. It's from Cook Eye. <laughs> But yeah, I think I'm going to um, make some more off the shoulder tops for me to wear. But anyway, I will stop ranting um, and get into work. But I thought I would just touch base with you guys, say hello, and yeah, film the next twirl wedding dress that I'm working on. And I hope you guys enjoy. morning and had an overwhelming urge to wear the outfit that I'm wearing today which you guys can see the straps um, I'm wearing sunflower dungarees which is like the most ridiculous outfit ever I don't know I've already had one person come into the shop today a bride looking for dresses and the look on her face when she saw me in this outfit was kind of hilarious. I don't know, do you guys ever wear stuff that's just like ridiculous? Like I feel like it's Free Dress Friday today because of the outfit that I'm wearing. I've also got my um, cons on <laughs> and leggings because it's winter and it's freezing. And then I'm wearing this amazing jumper that I got from Primark when I was in the UK last year. I wish Primark opened up an online shop because I just would buy all of my pajamas from there. But anyway, I was thinking about doing a tutorial on how to make like a pinafore coverall pattern. So like it would have the same straps um, and this like pinafore section, but instead of it being short, it would be like a A-line full circle, A-line skirt kind of dealio, kind of like the American apparel skirts, you know, those traditional skirts that they do, um, like the skater skirts, I think they're called. Yeah, I bought some amazing corduroy a few months ago and have been really wanting to do a tutorial. So this is the fabric here. It's just a nice cream. But I don't know, leave a comment down below if I get enough like likes or comments or if people ask me to do that tutorial, then I would be sure to do that for you guys. Today I'm just working on the uh, satin silk wedding dress toile, which um, yeah, I don't know. I You guys seem to like watching the process of garment construction, so I started work on it last night um, and I will include some of that footage now and the progress of today. Man, sometimes garments, sometime, <laughs> sometimes garments look so ugly and they look just like ridiculous before they start looking good and I don't know, I just feel like not enough designers and people show the process behind like how you make a beautiful garment because being a creative person and working on my own on projects there are a lot of days and a lot of times where you have a lot of self-doubt about what you're doing and if it's going to look any good um yeah so i thought i would include that in the video showing you guys how the garment starts it looks pretty bad and then by the end how it really comes together um, and all of the little things that help make a garment yeah look good so I hope you guys enjoy but that is it for me I will leave it for now and I'll see you in the next clip <laughs> 